Hey, redneck in a hat, and I'm back. Today, I've got another gun. Um, my buddy Tony, he said he had a an XD Mod 2, and uh, anyway, it's a 9mm. Let me bring it home today to check it out. I told him I was going to do a little short video on it, and uh, so thanks, Tony, um, for uh, letting me check this gun out. Maybe you'll let me shoot it here soon. Um, but anyway, we're going to take it out of the box here and see what it's all about. All right, this is it. This is the XD Mod 2 by Springfield. And of course all this paperwork's up there in the top. All right, well, this is it. Just looking in the case, and uh, looks like it comes with a lot of stuff here. This one here, it comes with a cleaning brush for the barrel. It's in the bag here. And it does come with a, a lock and key, two keys. I think that's law now, but uh, let's take a little gun out of the set the cape kind of to the side. And it does come with two magazines. Um, the shorter one um, is 13 round. And the longer one is 16 round. But uh, I'll show you the difference between these two. One is just uh, a little longer. Well, it holds uh, three more rounds in it, but I'm going to put the longer one in here for this video, but. But anyway, this is the Springfield XD Mod 2 Subcompact. Um, this one here is in uh, 9 millimeter. You can get this in uh, 40 cal, but um, it's a pretty nice gun right out of the box. Uh, it's got a pretty nice, pretty nice feel to it. Weight-wise, uh, 26 to 27 ounces, I think, depending on which uh, magazine you've got in it. Um, you're going to be probably an ounce heavier with the longer magazine, but um, overall, overall length is uh, six and a quarter inches, which isn't, which isn't bad, subcompact, be great for concealed carry, but uh, it should conceal pretty, pretty easy. Um, it's got a three inch hammer forged steel barrel with a 1 to 10 twist to it. And a black polymer frame. Um, this one here is black polymer frame. Um, I'm not for sure if you can get it in a flat dark earth color or anything, but you possibly could. Um, fiber optic sight on the front. And it's just a low profile stock on the back. Didn't notice when it took it out of the box. It did come with uh, extra fiber optic, um, one green, one red. Um, it looks like there's a red one in it. You can see up on top there. So, and this gives you plenty here if, if that was to break or you wanted to change it several times. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can probably change it uh, four times with each color. Um, anyway, it, like I said, it does have pretty nice uh, fiber optic. One thing I did notice on the back, back here by the rear sight, is the uh, serrations for the grip on the top of the slide. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's, whether you rack this way or whether you rack that away, it's, it's got some, 
a deepness to it. And right here, this part here sticks out enough to where, even with gloves on, you're going to grip that pretty good. I like that. That's got a lot of grip to it. It's easy. But uh, the other thing, um, when you're holding this gun, it's got a high hand beaver tail. Uh, you know, it raises the hand closest to the closer to the barrel, more axis to uh, reduce uh, the recoil. So your hand is right up in here, right underneath that barrel. So there. So you're more in line with the barrel when that comes back. That helps reduce, you know, the recoil. Um, but anyway, when you're gripping this, it's got a high grip to it, which really, really helps when that when this when this is coming back, recoiling. That helps take that recoil out to where you're um, right on with your your next shot. Um, and underneath the barrel, this gun does have an accessory rail. Right here. But anyway, with this accessory rail, you can put lights on it. You can add laser. Okay, and it's got a grip safety on it. Um, I believe this gun does come with a safety up here. Thumb safety. This one here doesn't have a thumb safety. But uh, I, don't, I don't think you'd have to have the thumb safety because it does have a grip safety right here. Um, but um, without pushing that in, it will not fire. Let's see here, I'll put my thumb on it and the trigger will pull back. Same way with the trigger safety. If uh, if you don't push this little piece in with the trigger, that trigger's not going to come back all the way. Um, like I said, it does come with the, the two mag. Uh, with the longer mag, it does put your finger up here. With the shorter magazine. Um, with small fingers, I'm just barely getting a finger on her. If you had bigger fingers, you're probably going to set a finger underneath. Okay, this, this also did come with a, a loader for your magazine. And I guess and it, it, you can clip it on to here. Um, but anyway... You slide it down on the end of your magazine and it's got this plastic piece here that pushes down it just pushes your spring down take it around put it in there let it up push it in then go down on your next one put it in there raise it up slide it in here and you push that down it pushes the top round down set your next round up there raise it up in and down I'm not in a speed race here But you get the concept. Basically all this does is help push your spring down. And then you can slip your round in. But, uh, that's how the uh, loader helps load your magazine. Also in the case Comes with a little belt holster. But, uh, 
Not much to it. Uh, like I said, it's just a belt holster. It goes down the case, and that does come with uh, a magazine holster. That does hold to. And that comes inside the case. And they fit right here. But anyway, this is a, a pretty nice little subcompact. It's the XD9 um, Mod 2. Hold it up here. Get a better look at it. And let me show you something else on it that I didn't show when you uh, see how this is uh, uh, even smooth right here level when you uh, put it around up here to where it is loaded this raises up now see this little piece is raised up a little bit Take that round out. And it's down smooth, flush. It's that piece right there. But anyway. anyway, this is a Springfield XD9 Subcompact Mod 2. Hope you like this video. Um, Hopefully I get to another video on it uh, here pretty quick. So uh, I will get to go out and shoot this at, at some targets. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, redneck and a hat and I'm gone.